Hey y'all, it's Betsy with Happily Ever After Etc. And welcome back to another charm video. So today I have a really fun haul from Geno's. I never know how to say this brand, but that is what I've heard most consistently. It is G-N-O-C-E. This is not my first video on them, but they did send me these charms to share with y'all, which I'm very excited about. Um, all my other shows of this brand have been ones I purchased myself. I do really like them because they have such unique charms and they have so many of them, which is why I have fallen prey to ordering from them before, specifically for my entertainment bracelet. I have um, Gengar from Pokemon. I have Sailor Moon charms from them. I have so many fun um, Harry Potter charms and things for that bracelet that just aren't available other places. I also really like their photo charms. I have a couple really cute photos um, of my husband and of our family that I really wanted put on a charm and they are gorgeous. So I'll link those down below, but I'm going to get right into this box because I'm very excited. So they have these new color changing charms and that was not like the whole goal, but I found a couple charms from them that I thought would be perfect on a Bridgerton themed bracelet. Oh, how pretty. So the last time I ordered from them, all of the branding and design of the season was green. I love this kind of taupe blush kind of color better, just personally. Oh, that's so pretty. And it says British Library. It has all these like little characters. It's like Alice in Wonderland-esque. It's very Bridgerton, very Bridgerton. Um, so I'm gonna bring you guys in. I haven't opened this. I've just seen the charms online where I picked them out. I'm so excited because I got a little teacup and we got a little bee. If you guys are anything like me, Bridgerton season three has you in a chokehold and I cannot wait. I'm going to probably be wearing this all week, if not all month. So let's go ahead. I'm going to bring you all in for a closer look so that you can really see the charms up front. Let's go ahead and take them out and put them together. I'm very excited. I'm always excited for charms. All right, look at this packaging. I might actually have to save this box because that is actually really pretty. I love all the designs. I'm a packaging nerd though. You know, I'm a graphic designer. So it opens with a little magnetic cling and then it even has the light velvety bag. This is very Bridgerton. I don't think that's their goal. It's my goal. <laughs> all right. So it looks like everything is in packages. Yep. Oh, that's nice. Okay. Oh, it's so pretty. You know, I have bought so many charms over the years that I do not save a lot of packaging. I did not save the green packaging, so I'm not into green, but so here is their uh, free bracelet. So you get one of these with almost every order, depends on how much you order, but it does come with a safety chain. So I really like that. I actually ordered a safety chain because you'll see it's like the highlight of my life but I do like that it comes with a standard safety chain so you never want to lose your pieces all right and then all right so first up are the rose spacers so these are spacers but they're roses and these are the color changing ones so they're supposed to change colors with sunlight or UV. So we'll have to play with that. They turn like a pink. Okay. And then next up are the clips. I love clips because not only do they stop, you know, your charms from falling off your bracelet, similar to a safety chain. You don't necessarily need both. Um, but I like both because these, especially if they're silicone lined, they'll keep your design on the front of your wrist which I have a bit of uh, sensory issues sometimes and the, the charm sliding all over my wrists, uh, that drives me bonkers. <laughs> and now my favorite two things. So my centerpiece, the teacup, and it has a color changing rose on top. Ooh, it must be, it's getting too much sun because it is starting to be pink. That's good. And it has just that beautiful detail. Don't worry, I am going to take everything out to show you. And the piece de resistance, the safety chain, which has the same 
teal or turquoise color, which is what Penelope's been wearing all season on Bridgerton because she's transitioning from the green and yellows of the Featheringtons to the blues of the Bridgertons to marry her boy oh, and the bee. Okay, so give me a second. I'm going to take these all out and put them on a charm bar so that y'all can see them up and close with all the details. You guys, I am obsessed. This is so delicate and pretty. I love the colors, the teal turquoise of the stoppers and the safety chain. Like, you guys. And look at the bee. Look at the little bee. It's like Bridgerton 101 to have the bees. And I was a little sad that all the butterflies were not bees because there wasn't a big butterfly moment in Bridgerton until season three, which, spoiler alert, if you haven't watched it, the end of the season for Penelope's big reveal that she is Lady Whistledown, her sister releases hundreds of butterflies and it is this huge metamorphosis moment of you know changing from a caterpillar to a beautiful butterfly that Penelope definitely goes through and so this is even more appropriate for season three of Bridgerton now than it was but I love these clips and they are silicone lined I will show you each one individually but the the color and then the roses I love this middle charm, the butterfly, like, look at this, look how delicate it is. It is so pretty. It has all the different colors all around, which is also very Featherington, like they would have just a riot of colors on here. Oh, is, ah, uh, I'm, I'm literally going to be obsessed with this bracelet, I can tell. All right, so let me show you each charm kind of up close individually, and then we will put them on the bracelets. So these stoppers, the clips, they have two butterflies on either side. They are teal, kind of turquoise color. They have polished silver sides. And like I said, they do have can open them with a nail which is nice um they do have the silicone lining inside which means when I put them on my bracelet they are not going to move which is just the best like come on I love that so much. It used to be that none of the clips were silicone line. They just went over clip stations. This is so much better because you can make your design as wide as you want. You are not restricted by, you know, the clip stations being in set places. So next is the color changing charms. Now these are roses. They actually have a whole like line of the color changing charms. These have four roses and I love that the prongs holding them on are the leaves. That is so sweet. And they are chunky, like they are chunky charms. Like you can see next to the clips, how delicate and small the clips are. And then the roses stick out further than the, the clips. I like that. I like when things are not all the same size and one is smaller or one is larger. Um, it just gives a bit more dimension to your bracelet. And these roses are definitely chunky. Um, they are also supposed to change with a UV light. So once we get the bracelet all put together, I will pop out my UV light and we'll see the color changing effect, which will be really fun. Uh, but I like that they're clear and kind of let the teal or turquoise shine inside. And then if I wear this outside, going to a garden center or something, because I'm always buying plants, uh, they'll be pink and even more feathering 10 because you know feathering tents would never have just one color on a bracelet the biggest charm the centerpiece is this teacup 
and she is top heavy as you can see if I let her go she immediately flips upside down which is another reason I like the silicone clips because when you get them all on your bracelet you can kind of you know squeeze them in to the point where they're not hurting the charms but they help top heavy charms stay upright as opposed to not having the clips and just having that standard safety chain they will definitely flip but it has that color changing rose on the middle and it's kind of propped up so if you look at the back of the charm you can see the underside of the rose it's like leaning forward a little bit it is completely hollow in the middle there you can see the bar running through and i like all the little leaves popping up i like the different color charms on the front i love that delicate tea handle teacup handle like it best when my camera focuses properly but I think my favorite part is the butterfly having a little bit of that blue now the butterflies and Bridgerton season three with Penelope are painted ladies so they're orange but y'all this blue is stunning and it is Bridgerton blue so it is really you know Oh, she's going from that green of the Featheringtons to the blue of the Bridgertons. And y'all, if I am not reading into the cleverness of my own design too much, I am obsessed. <laughs> this one does have a hallmark, which is the S925, which is the silver that most charm companies use. So you can tell this is the same quality weight silver that Pandora uses, which is you know, such a big name brand in the charm world, but there are so many amazing charm companies. And just because Geno's has such great price points for their charms does not mean they are lesser quality. I love these just as much. And if I had unlimited budget, I would have unlimited charms. So shocker of the season, spoiler alert, the safety chain has silicone in it. Like, it's obviously not quite as sturdy as the clips, but it has silicone in it, you guys, which means it's not going to slide around too much, which is fabulous. I have never seen a silicone lined safety chain ever in any of my charms. I am shook, but it is so delicate. And you guys, this bee with the yellow stone, it might be my new favorite thing ever of all time. I love it so much and I love that feathery dead green I know yeah, the season came out literally yesterday and I've already watched the second half of season three twice which honestly that's pretty good I could have watched it way more than twice so I'm gonna put this together so that I can go watch it a third time completely done up so of course, Gino's does have other bracelets. Um, this is just the free one that they send you with every order, which is nice because if you don't have your own bracelet, you don't want to purchase one at the moment. It is nice to get one that you can use for all of your pieces. The safety chain, here, it'll come off. Should just pop off, it's silicone lined. I did get it off. I don't know why it was, it is definitely like, it is tight silicone. You can see it all the way around in there. So this baby, this baby does not move. So we are gonna take this clip off that I popped on here to show you the silicone because we need to put our safety chain on first. And let's see if this one is as hard to put on and off as the other one. And I'm trying to decide, I think I'm gonna put the non bee flower on first. Okay, that is not nearly as difficult. So, I think it will still hold. It definitely holds way better on the bracelet than on my charm bar, which is fabulous and it does come off nicer. So just a little looser silicone than the standard one. Neither thing is bad necessarily, just, you know, 
If you don't want to lose your charms, that will definitely keep them on. So now a clip. Yep, clip, clip. All right, let's put all our charms on. And of course we can do a much bigger design, get more charms, but this is an excellent, you know, excellent amount for starting a bracelet. I typically start with anywhere from three to five charms, but I mean, budget wise, you could start with one charm. Sometimes if I really like a bracelet, uh, I just start with the bracelet. So, no shame in that. You start with what you can start with and then you build on it and that's kind of the fun. I mean, if you could order 20 charms for a single bracelet in one go and just be done with it, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be quite as much fun for me. I'm a collector, I like to collect. So let's put this in the middle. There we go. And see how the clips really do keep that middle charm upright. So if I were to have not gotten the clips, they wouldn't have fallen off with the safety chain, but they wouldn't stay upright either. So to me, that is a really important part. <laughs> All right, and now we have our safety chain at the end. So we put it around the clasp. That way, whenever we are taking the bracelet on and off, it is still a continuous loop and we will not lose any charms. And their charm bracelets, look at this, like it doesn't just slot in, that's not in, you actually have to click it in. There, did you hear that? So, that is nice. My mom bought a charm bracelet in Spain when they were having a sale and lost it before she even got back to her room for the night. Just unclipped on her wrist. It was just the saddest thing that could have happened. All right, I'm gonna put it on. All right, y'all, look how pretty that is. I love it so much and the delicate bee is like the finishing touch. It is so sweet. I cannot wait to take it outside and see all the flowers turn pink. Let's take it out and see. Oh, they change fast, y'all. I didn't even make it down my front steps. I figured I'd show you once I got down here. Oh, they change really fast. Look how pretty that is. So the rose cut teacup is a little more pink and the rose spacers are a little more purple. Total feathering 10 vibes. I have all the colors of the rainbow on my wrist. That is so pretty. Guys, I'm just too excited. So we are outside and that is the end of my little Bridgerton bracelet with the sweetest bee known to man. I wonder if there's real bees out here right now. I have a lot of bees and pollinators in my garden. Um, we will see. I will probably add to this over the years because it is pretty delicate right now. I could definitely add more charms. But leave me a comment down below letting me know what your favorite part is. Uh, if I should get more of these color changing charms because they're kind of captivating me. And if you loved Bridgerton as much as I love Bridgerton and what you think of Geno's. I love their charms. I think they're really sweet and I like I like all the options. And uh, they, I think they just released a couple color changing mermaid pieces that I might need for my next cruise. So... Bye, y'all. Thanks for watching.